Hiya. So here's a little update on Alfie and how Alfie's doing. Here's Alfie boy. Say hello to the cam, Alfie. I want to care for him as my cat, but technically he's not my cat. When mum made the proposal that we get some cats and we made a, an agreement on getting some and caring for some as kittens, the kittens we found costed money. They don't always, but these ones costed, like, both of them together was something like a thousand pounds, so it was like five hundred pounds-ish, I think one was more than the other, each, and I only paid a few hundred for one of them, and I paid half on a few vet's bills and things for Alfie. So, in technicality, I don't own Alfie myself, which is a, a little difficulty. I wouldn't say a difficulty in caring for him because I want to treat him like my own cat. I want to care for him. You know, I want to feed him and take him to the vet when there's a problem and look after him when he's sick or whatever, clean up after him and all that, which I do pretty much. But my mum technically owns him and if I were to finally move out of this place at some point, then I wouldn't be like I'd be living in my own flat and it would be it, well it wouldn't be my own flat it'd be a rented flat for one thing for another thing it would n probably not have a garden that a cat can go in it'd be a rented garden uh, some of these accommodations have shared gardens which I don't really use but the, the thing about having a cat is I think it's cruel personally to have an indoor cat like it's cruel to try and make your cat or dog vegan or something like that uh, that as well uh, a cat is meant to hunt outdoors. You're meant to be cool with that. You're meant to be okay with the fact that it will kill birds, it will kill mice. It is a hunter. That is its natural state. You can't cut it off. Like, it, it, they eat grass for digestion purposes. You shouldn't cut your cat off from the outdoors world. It makes territory that overlays over human territory against like pushing outwards against other cats in the neighborhood like they forge they explore and they use scent and they fight and they forge territory like borders of their own which are nothing to do with the borders that we make for our gardens and things so that's something you should let your cat do and i can't do that if it's an indoor cat in all honesty i wouldn't be able to buy alfie off my mum and bring him with me to the new place I temporarily live at. Well that's another thing is it's temporary, you don't know what's going to happen until you own your own house, which I don't. You know, I don't want to keep an indoor cat and I wouldn't be able to take Alfie out from this house. It's a sh shame that like, if I leave here, Alfie would still be here. Hold on, that's him calling now. He's actually come in the um, room and he wants to sit here now, so I'll have to get off in a bit maybe. Yeah, if I left this house to live in a flat, I would have to... Come on. Jump. Jump. <laughs> he doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> he's purring though. He's looking at my knees. There he is. I'm stuck with him now. Once they sit on your lap, they've claimed you. Yeah, he's a beautiful lad. He's a beautiful lad and I love him. There he is. But if I had to move to another flat, I would obviously have to live there and it's to get out of this family situation. Alfie's my only proper family member here at the moment. He's like my little brother that does things right. If I moved to a flat then the only way I'd get to see him is if I had some sort of connection to this house so I could uh, like stop by at this house on a weekend or something and, and go and see Alfie and see how he's doing basically. And hope that he's not been mistreated by my mum or by my brothers. I'd see, end up seeing him less, I think. I, like, it might just be once a week or something. And that'll be sad, because I'd want to bring him with me, but I wouldn't be able to. See, that wouldn't be a problem if I had a house, but there's no way I'm gonna have a house. I can't see that happening, to be honest. It's so late in life, and a lot of my income has just been crushed by the events that put me here, so. He's uh, started climbing up on the garage roof now at night, which um, Misha used to do very easily because she was very small and fast and athletic, but Alfie's always been bigger than Misha. I didn't think he'd be able to do it, but now he started climbing up there. Noticed him on it a couple of times last week. <laughs> the annoying thing is he 
jumps over the our garden wall to get out to our car parking bay which is near the road and I don't want him near the road for obvious reasons that's how Misha died I don't know what I can do, do to stop him I don't like the idea of stopping my cat or controlling him or putting a microchip in him and tracking him but I don't know where he is or what he's doing when he leaves our garden it could be anything I just kind of have to trust him that he's going to get scared of cars which Misha wasn't and he's not going to go near them that's all I can do Another thing for the Alfie vid is that because we've been having this stupid family feud in which there's a window downstairs and Dad smokes and Sam hates the smoke so Sam tries to keep the window as wide as possible because he hates Dad's smoke and Dad's office is nearby and Dad tries to keep that window closed as much as possible because he hates cold in the winter and he feels temperatures more than us apparently so he wants it closed and because mum won't get a cat flap despite <laughs> replacing the door earlier in the year when she could have just like actually got a new door with a cat flap fitted into it Alfie has to use that particular window I'm talking about as his only means of escape and route in and out the house I've made it easier on him than we had for our white cat, Remy, because I put a chair outside the window. When it was Remy, she was jumping up to the window frame edge. It's one of these windows that opens outward. And just jumping down to the tiny window sill lip and then onto the floor, which is quite a jump. And the thing is, when it's wet or rainy or icy, that window sill lip is slippery and... The vet told us, I don't know if I believe it or not, but the vet told us Remy damaged her legs. Since I got a bit of that in my mind, thinking like, you know, if Remy did get leg paralysis, then maybe it was because of her constant jumping down from the window, and also just the slipperiness of that outdoor windowsill on rainy or icy days. I think there must be many times where I didn't see it where Remy tried to jump out the window, and she just slipped on that bit and fell the rest of the way to the floor which probably damaged her paws whenever it happened maybe her like whatever cats have in place of elbows you know the bit I'm talking about so I made it slightly easier on Alfie the, the original plan when we had Misha and Alfie was that I'd put a, a big kind of DIY wooden box thing there slightly higher up for them to jump out and land on but I couldn't do it, uh, especially not with the situation in the house, uh, mum's possessiveness over the house, Sam's possessiveness over the house. I couldn't achieve that, so we just put a, a chair outside to make it easier on Alfie when he jumps out. But the window has to be a certain amount open for Alfie to use it so that he doesn't whack his back on the window or that he can jump through in the first place. And because it's become winter again, second winter of this year, dad has been like going oh it's too cold and he's been on some occasions just closing the window almost entirely to the point where Alfie can't get in or out so Alfie doesn't have the freedom of the garden and house and the choice to come in from the garden to get the food we're giving him or the choice to go out and hunt and get fresh air and, and poop outside uh, away from the litter tray because he doesn't really use the litter tray anymore uh, unless he's got a problem yeah that window is like sam tries to keep it fully open dad tries to keep it fully closed i try to keep it like partly open enough for alfie to come through but not enough to let tons of cold air come in and it's just a that's just a nightmare thing of how i'm trying to fight to care for alfie that induces a lot of stress on me when i come upstairs after helping alfie and know in my mind that dad's been closing it so alfie can't get in or out and he might have done it again while I've come upstairs or that Sam's just opened the window hyper wide and is doing more of his war stuff with us and is doing it basically to um, attack his dad which is basically why he's done everything he's done is because dad smokes and he's just launched a war on him and he's just attacking me by proxy to attack dad anyway that's how Alfie boy is doing if you're interested the good family member here he is Thank you.